welcome back to my channel and this is Sasha of course from House of Solana I'm giving you a New Year's Eve slash an expensive look of course even down to the nails and my nails are usually like claws all the way out here so um, I just wanted to give you a look that you could do of course the same as that you do an expensive look with you know like all the products that you know is probably like you know $20 a pop for everything um, only thing is I make the outfit. I'm also a plus size fashion designer, as I've said before, and I actually just make the outfit. I didn't go, of course, buy anything. I just, of course, take something out of my closet, which you can do as well, and put something together. You got something really glittery that always says New Year's. And then also, just the top, and also I made a skirt. Hello, everyone. I am taking the BH Cosmetics palette, and this is the Studio Pro palette for the eyebrows. They have tons of colors in there that everyone can use. I'm just taking the dark brown. And I'm just going the natural shape of my brow. I paid about at least $9.99 for this. They always have sales on BH Cosmetics website. So it's definitely affordable. So if you see, of course, the short nails, um, yeah, those were at least about $7.99 at Walmart. Next, I'm taking the Maybelline Concealer in Cafe. And also, this was about $6.99 to $7 as well. Around maybe at least a little past $7, depending on where you are, too, which retailer you're going to. I'm just taking that and I'm sculpting in my brows out and as you can tell the, the consistency of the concealer is really nice too and people compare it to the NARS but it's just not comparable to NARS for me but especially to get by I would say that's a really nice concealer um, Maybelline has really been just doing their thing now I'm taking the Juvia's Place and I'm taking the green which is I believe in the shade Egypt yes it's in the shade Egypt and I'm just going all over my lid you can take any transition brown shade doesn't matter you can go right in the crease with that and then I'm just taking it I'm just packing it all over my lid it's best when you pack your colors then you have a lot of color payoff as well and these palettes are super inexpensive they are not I would say even past $40 but now you can find the Nubian 2 palette, the Nubian 1 palette. Those run as sale a lot. And also you can get them in bundles on the website. I'm taking the CoverGirl palette, which is the Jewel palette. And I'm taking that green. It's a nice sparkly green. It has a sparkle, like a little reflectant to it. And I'm just taking that and putting that all over the lid as well. I'm staying more in the center, but I still kind of got like my whole eye as well. Now I'm taking the blue color and I'm just going on the inner and outer corner of my eye. It's kind of going to be more of like a sandwich look. And blending is key, everybody. Blending is definitely key. You want to make sure that those colors mesh together well without being muddy. And also you want to make sure that they get all their parts too. And what I mean they got to get their parts is that everyone has to show up. So if everybody ain't showing up to the party on the eye, then it just ain't cutting it. So you can still see some of the green in the middle. And then yeah, I'm just taking a brush that has nothing on it and I'm just blending out the harsher lines that I'm seeing. And I'm just blending also the colors together too so they can blend seamlessly. I'm just taking some more blue. You can intensify it however you like. I just like mine to be a little bit more amplified, so I just took some more blue and I just went on back on my corners of my eyes. I'm taking that green still from the CoverGirl palette and I'm just going right in the middle now. Um, I want that to have a little bit more brighter effect. The darker color, which was the Egypt color, was great, but I really wanted a little bit more reflectant to it. Even though we're gonna go in with some glitters right now, which is NYX. These glitters can retail definitely for about, I think what I paid with at Ulta, it was about $6.99 a piece for those. And they're really great glitters. They're really awesome. I love NYX though. It's it's pretty good. So I would say I mixed the blue and the silver together to get that. And then also I just took the NYX glitter glue. I'm really impressed with this glitter glue. It's 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 amazing, I would think. And also I paid a lot of things on sale too when I went to Ulta and Ulta always has like a sale of at least maybe buy one get one half off when it comes to NYX 
and I'm just taking the glitter and I'm now packing that on and you see how it definitely stays I did not have too much fallout with this glitter at all I was very impressed with the glitter I know one of the shades is definitely crystal which is the more silver like color and then the blue I think was more of a sapphire the glitter glue didn't dry out it's an inexpensive glitter glue. I know some of them are like maybe like $20, but I know I at least paid $7 for this one. I'm just taking the glue and packing that on. You see, I have still no fallout, which I was really impressed because then I hate sometimes when they're like more of a cream glitter glue and not more of a liquid. I like using liquids more, but I have grown to really love this glitter glue. It's, it really is awesome. It's just a different consistency. Next, I'm taking the black color in the palette, and I'm still deepening on the inner and outer corners of the eye. I want more intensity, and I want more depth. So if you could just tell from just one eye to the other, it does definitely has more of an intense vibe to it, and that's what I really wanted. And also, I'm still going back with the blue, and you can see that now it's a little bit more deepened, and I'm just taking the blue. And now I'm just like making it more even bluer, I guess. <laughs> so then that's the reason why sometimes I really like to put a black base down, especially when I'm doing different eye looks, because then once you put a color on top of that, then it really intensifies it. And now you can see it a little bit better. And I was more satisfied with that. Also, now we have the Ardell lashes. And that was just a pack that I also got from Ulta. And those are like faux mink lashes. Nothing be beats the mink lashes, but hey, definitely for an inexpensive look. And then you get a really nice pack like that. And it was like $20. You could just take any mascara. One of the best mascaras, I would say, of course, Maybelline has some of the best mascaras, definitely. Um, They have the Voluminous from L'Oreal. That's one of my favorites. I really love that. You can always find mascaras definitely on sale. I do, at least. You can go to Ulta. You can go to Walmart, Walgreens. They all have sales definitely on mascaras. I'm just doing a few more touches there. And also, I felt like I lost some of the color with that orange or the brown. And I just intensified my crease still as well. And then also I'm just taking a liquid liner. This is from NYX as well, and it is a vinyl. You can get the vinyl or you can get the matte finish for them, and those are at least about $3.99. Down to the wipes. Now the wipes are Neutrogena. I love to get the double pack. The double pack I also got on sale, and that you can get for at least about $12.99 if you get the double pack, and then maybe just like some single ones too. And then duo glue. Everybody loves duo glue. And that runs at least about $5. Waiting for that to dry. And then now I'm just planting them right on the center. Um, let me know if you guys want to see how I apply my lashes. I don't usually use tweezers. Um, that's actually something I like to use more on my clients more instead of me then for the face I'm taking NYX Angel Veil primer this primer is really really nice I heard that it's comparable to the hourglass primer I actually heard that from Jackie Ina that is a really great comparison it's nice it's smooth um, you see how it gives a little bit of a cast but you really will not see that when your foundation is on I'm taking the fit me con not concealer I'm taking the fit me foundation in 360 which was the mocha and I'm just taking that on the back of my hand and I'm gonna be putting that all over the face with my beauty blender my beauty blender was also three dollars and it's pretty soft too usually sometimes they are kind of hard but I really do like them too I'm 
I'm just distributing that all over the face, down the neck, any problem areas that I'm having. Now the concealers. Why do I keep talking about the concealers? <laughs> Actually for the foundation, that I can always get at least about $8 and I get them buy one, get one half off as well. I really do love these. I use them a lot on my clients, of course, as well as myself. So I'd never really have a problem with them. And also they've been expanding their shades. So of course, kudos to Maybelline because they really have been, they've just been on the up and up. I'm, I'm all here for it. I definitely will be doing a tutorial on their new foundation, which is the Superstay. And I'm expecting great things from that, Con not the concealer, but the foundation as well. I'm just blending all that in with my beauty blender and I'm just using padding motions and it's also quite damp as well. Now I'm taking my concealer which is the cafe is what I use to sculpt my brows and actually put on as my concealer. Or my primer, I should say. <laughs> That's all blended in and I'm taking black opal, which is in the shade medium. And medium, I really do like this shade. It doesn't come off really ashy on me. It sets my makeup really nice. I also use all of the colors. And this retails me for at least about $10. So you can get four of them. They have light, medium, deep, and dark. And you can get four powders. Their deluxe powders are $10 each. You'll be walking away under $50 for all these powders. You see it blends in really nice and it doesn't disturb the makeup. It doesn't make it come off ashen. And it also does not feel heavy. And this is the powder from Maybelline. And this is the shade Dark. It actually showed up a little bit too red on me. I wasn't feeling that. You see, I switched really quick and I just went to dark for the black opal. I'm just going over that. Because I was showing up a little too red. Not only red on the camera, but definitely red when I looked in the mirror. I was just like, oh no. So then I'm just going to have to get another one and just save that one and put it in my kit. And now it's all better and all fixed. And as the foundation dries down, it dries down very nice too. And how it just does not disturb. I I love it, especially when it's inexpensive and it's eight bucks. How can you beat that? I'm going back into the Nubian 2 palette and I'm just taking the dark brown color and I'm just using it as a contour. And I believe that's in the shade Kenya. That's the dark brown color in that palette. I'm going to really have to just go to the store and just pick a dark powder and then just use that as my contour. I had definitely like an illuminate, illuminizing powder for my contour. And then they discontinued it. So... That's kind of bummed. So I'm just doing a little bit of reverse contour just to give a little bit more definition to the cheeks. I don't do it often. Um, I just only did it because I wanted to just have like a little bit more going on. Just, you know, cut the cheek a little bit. I'm just touching up any areas. I, was, I think I was on the phone because I was really chopping it up. I'm, I'm just talking. Talking and blending. That's what we had going on there. Talking and blending. <laughs> and laughing. Okay, good. We got a laughing moment because I was pretty serious. I'm like, what was I talking about? 
So we have the e.l.f. palette. This palette was $6 at Target. And look how nicely that shows up on my cheeks. It is great. I love this palette. I was just like, wow, this shows up on the cheeks great. It doesn't show up as really ashy. It was $6 and it has a really nice full mirror. Really nice full mirror. I was just like, wow. First time I ever used it. In all the colors. Every single color in there works. And I'm taking a pencil, which is NYX Lip Suede. And I actually bought a couple of these. These are really nice. They're like $3.99. Also, again, you can get a sale. And I believe it's in the shade Los Angeles. I couldn't find the nude pink that I really wanted to go with this look for my inexpensive ones. So I just went in with Nikki's Nude and then a clear gloss to go over it. There's plenty of them out there that is CoverGirl and Maybelline. Um, I just didn't have those in my um, my kit today. So then I took, of course, Jackie Ina's La Peach. And that was the one expensive thing I had to put on my cheeks. I just had to because I just got it. And it was after Christmas. And it just looks so pretty. It's so like a true peach. And it just makes me glow. And I went right on the brow bone. And it just tied in so, so well. And of course, this is my finished look. And I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video. Thanks, everybody.